Prophet McGee. Welcome. Please. Simply call me boss. Okay, Mr. Boss. Can we get some? Um, please greet the Prophet. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you can't just claim you don't touch the profit. <laughs> okay, Continue. moving on. Can you tell us a little bit about your groundbreaking prophecies? So, the Lord just laid it all on my heart. It was just the heart of the cards, really, that he just spoke to me. The Lord has laid it on my heart. I receive greatly. Yes, speak towards me. Yes, let me receive. Thank you. Now, I have a prophecy. There's going to be a great eclipse coming around. And when it comes, it's not going to be like the former eclipse, but it's going to be a 12-hour eclipse ranging from the East Coast all the way through to the West Coast. So the great darkness is going to expand for about 12 hours, and then light shall come back. Nighttime? It's not called nighttime in the heavenly realms, but here in the natural, you may call it night, but that's just one of the many prophecies I have. Yes, uh, Mr. McGee has other prophecies. Please. False. False, False. has Thank other you. prophecies. Let's move on. So there's just gonna be a manifestation in the natural realm. It's going to begin to heat up in the mid of the year, and that's gonna last for three months a time span of three fortnights of heat. But then everything is just going to begin to wither up and die and transform from heat to a cooler setting. Not cold yet, but that's going to be in the third trimester. A great cold, even flakes of water frozen everywhere, frozen in the heavenlies. And then everything's going to wash out with great rains as it begins to heat up once more. Seasons? You call it seasons, but in the heavenly realms, we call it by another name. A name that is not even spoken. It doesn't even have words. Angel tongues. Um, okay, one, let's try one more. Do you have any other prophecies? Groundbreaking. Future. What is, what is happening? So, in the future, there will be an end of hunger across the world. This end of hunger is because a great sheet is going to come over everybody and they're going to sleep eternally. This is going to come upon us eventually near the end in the period of 80 to 90 years old or even 100 for some so that hunger will not exist any longer for us death you may call it death but i'm saying it's a new life that's coming you after know, mr mcgee we have a few special guests you know and we really want to highlight some of the work yes my work i do so much work i'm a philanthropist Can you tell us a little bit about that please yes Thank you for holding for the profit. My arms are very tired. Um, I am a philanthropist, a humanitarian. I love every creed and all people. And I just try to give back to the community by opening up my doors. Well, last our reporters and researchers heard, yes. you live in a very, very lush mansion. Okay, so this is what the word says. It says, my father, his house holds many mansions. I don't even have many mansions. I have one mansion, just so you know. And then he has a very big house that holds mansions. So I need a house of my own that happens to be a mansion. It has many rooms, just like he has many mansions. It's open for everyone, but right now it holds me and my family. There have been allegations that you're using church funds at the local strip club. Would you like to respond to that? Either what the enemy means for evil, God means for good, and that's all my intentions are. I just have God's heart.
for the people. What people don't understand is that how can you overcome sin if you don't dive into there? I'm just saying as a body, we have to become light by going into darkness. So you have to become darkness as well. I know that from the outside looking in that the light shouldn't be in a dark place, but how can I be a light unless I'm in a little darkness? I mean, I have to relate to sin to be able to overcome it. So light and dark, kind of like a Michael Jackson anointing. He was dark, but then he became light. So this is the type of anointing that my church carries. So what I am doing at my church is that I am evangelizing to these women. And so these are my disciples. We do not like calling them strippers. Naked disciples. You say naked, but I say clothed in our new line of Adam and Eve wear. I'm just saying she has on the full armor of God in the spiritual realm. Unlike some. Licorice happens to be one of our greatest church mothers, and she is the leader of the prayer team and the praise and worship team right now. She no longer make it clap for the enemy, but she makes it clap for the Lord. I know you often use a tambourine, but our whole lives are an instrument unto God, and so is our body. Licorice is an amazing woman of God. And are these tithes or offerings that are being distributed at this strip club? Yet again, I say this is not a strip club, but this is the altar of our hearts because we are the church. And so these poles, they are, these are not really poles, but these are staircases to heaven in which they come. And they slide down just like he, Jesus was in heaven and he came down to us. So these are not tithes or offerings because we're not tied to this earthly realm and we're offering up our worship unto him. So what about the men throwing money at these women? Okay, so um, the men, they are actually our deacons right now, and they don't really throw money, but just like in our Bible, they were throwing palms unto Jesus when he entered in to Jerusalem. And so when licorice, candy, Corvette, or Lamborghini, is entering into the worship on the stage of our hearts. It's an audience of one. They are just anointing their feet for the worship. And so when they are splitting for the Lord, they are separating sin from us. That is just the gospel embodied. How do you separate sin in such a lust-filled environment? You call it lust, but I say it's love. That is what grace does. Grace separates the former from the now. It separates our past from our right now. And it also separates from the left and to the right. Our sin is thrown into the sea of forgetfulness. So that's why licorice, she has sea of forgetfulness tattooed on her left leg. And then on the right, grace and mercy. So when you split it, You've also been accused of tax evasion as it relates to your orphanage. This line of questioning is getting the prophet very tired because I'm just trying to do the work of the Lord that some would not. And so I give, not even just myself, I give an overflow um, to these orphans. And they're not even orphans because they're children of God. So how can they be orphans and fatherless and motherless if they are children of God? Thank you. So you give what exactly to these orphans? I give monies. I give coins, dollars, Funny bread. you should say that we have evidence here related to said money that Mr. McGee gives false. to the orphanage. You know what, Mr. McGee? You are a false prophet. False prophet McGee. This collar is fake. This necktie is fake. And this wig is fake. Don't touch the prophet. This is Don't the waste the of prophet. time. Turn this off. I, I am a prophet. I am God's anointing. Just lift up your head, cause everything will be working. Do the worst in your best, cause
Cause all the schemers gon' scheme, I hit em. All the dreamers gon' dream, I hit em. All through the summer, okay. from the winter, January okay. to December. Let's get it going. Going, going. Yeah. Better going, going. Yeah, you better go. Going, going. Yeah. Better going, going. Going, going. <laughs> Mr. Well. <laughs> 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 she has for it. Messing up is hilarious. Hilarious. I can't right now. No, Can that's, you stop? No, like, that's important. Wait? No. Good evening. Joining us. <laughs> I'm going to need you to get it. <laughs> that is like the funny thing in the world. Good evening. Joining us tonight, world renowned televangelist. Do, do we need to turn that around? Yeah! You can't handle the pressure. No, no, no. All right. I don't think, right. Should, I don't think you can handle the pressure right. of the movie. Right now, we like to call it the groom. Stupidity. Oh my gosh, I could not. I'm like, uh huh, uh huh. I did! <laughs> 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 